Once upon a time, there was a girl, a refugee in the sandy lands of Umm al Quwain. She lived alone in a house bordered by large blue metal sheets, obstacles against sandstorms. On the other side, vast mangrove plains stretched out as far as the eye could see. Each evening, inspired by twilight luminosity, she used to perch on the highest sand dune to gaze at these immense plains. A book in her hand, she loved to muse. As she enjoyed the last sun rays, she regularly saw a small blue van filled with branches come back from there. Her curiosity growing, she felt called to discover this mysterious flora more closely. One morning, her creative streak brought her towards this green horizon. With a sketchbook and a palette of watercolors in a saddle bag, she decided to follow the tracks of the blue van marked in the sand. The low tide allowed her to walk far, far through this swamp forest so far away that she didn't realize the time was passing, nor the distance was growing between her and her house. In this labyrinth of mangroves, the ground looked like large carpets of beige seaweeds, all dried up by the sun. As the water gradually rose again, these beige carpets levitated and formed thousands of small green fluorescent filaments, shiny and resplendent. The tide rose to her knees. Captivated and dazzled by the show, she suddenly felt the desire to bathe in the water, to float as carried by nature. But as she got up on her feet, she realized she had gone way too far. Later in the day, at the corner of a mangrove alley, a fisherman appeared. He called out to her and urged her to embark with him on his boat. What are you doing here alone at a rising tide? I'm escaping, she replied, getting on the boat. I wish to paint the mangroves. Paint the mangroves? he exclaimed. Well, hurry, because at this rate, there will be no more in a few months. The girl, surprised by the fisherman's sarcastic words, gazed around her intently. As they went deeper into the swamp, she realized that some trees were cut, branches torn off, or even that some were dying. Seeing the young girl overwhelmed by the scene, the fisherman added, Mangroves are rare, extraordinary, and above all precious ecosystems. They proliferate between land and sea and protect a rich biodiversity. They provide growth habitat, essential for fish and shellfish, as well as for several specimens of birds. With these words, the girl took out her sketchbook and her watercolor palette and began to paint. She was inspired by the flying birds, the fish swimming under the boat. She also gazed at the fisherman and his amazing cages, which he gracefully dumped into the water. And that's how they spent the afternoon, wandering off this ecosystem, observing the flora and fauna in great details, and then came back home at sunset. The next morning, at dawn, the girl returned to walk in the mangrove's plains. Still inspired by the place, she sat down on one of the beige seaweeds carpet and waited for the sun to brush her face to bring her ideas to life. She closed her eyes, when suddenly she heard a small gasping sound nearby. Her look guided by her ear, she came across a small mangrove plant twiggling trapped under this carpet of seaweeds. Its branches and leaves grew quickly, creating the shape of a circus tent. After a few seconds, the small plant finally bore a hole into the seaweed carpet and managed to pull some of its branches and leaves out into the open. She exclaimed, Well, it's about time! A small plant? The young girl wondered. Yes, why are you surprised? I'm a living being like you here on this planet. I think I'm dreaming. And yet you're not. 
as a mangrove plant, I'm assigned a great mission. I will contribute in my own way to the natural coastal defense against storm surges, tsunamis, erosion, or even rising sea level. Suddenly, the sound of an engine stopped the small plant in her speech. The young woman stood up to observe and recognized the blue van in the distance, filled with branches. She looked at the small plant with sadness and whispered, we have to do something, small plant, or you'll end up like one of those branches. Looking into the distance, she saw an old fish cage, identical to the one thrown by the fisherman the day before. It was empty and was lying around in the sand. An idea occurred to her. She ran to retrieve the cage, came back to the small plant, and stared quietly at the blue van behind the branches. When the van reached her area, the girl waited for the brigand to get out of his vehicle. She saw him approach the mangroves, a machete in his hand. At the right moment, with a firm step, the young girl came out of her hiding place, brandished the fish cage to throw it at the brigand, and exclaimed, I'm married to nature, and I will protect this ecosystem at all costs. By reflex, the brigand turned around and pushed the fish cage away with his arm, part of which fell on the small plant below. Mad with rage, he threatened the young girl with his machete and kicked towards her stomach. The girl fell on her knees to the ground, her hands on her abdomen. She was seriously injured and started to lose consciousness. Emerging from nowhere, the fisherman rushed towards the brigand. He blocked him with a fishing net. With a flash of lightning, nature got angry and reclaimed its rights. The sky darkened, the wind picked up violently, the ground shuddered, suddenly changed texture and the beige seaweed carpets lifted up. The water rushed over the ground and thousands of small shiny fluorescent green filaments appeared. Trapped by the fishing net, the brigand found himself immobilized on the ground by quicksand. The fisherman spoke to the brigand. Man plunders nature, but nature always takes revenge. The fisherman hurried back to the girl to get her out of the water and try to save her. He took her in his arms, but it was unfortunately too late. At the young girl's last breath, tears rolled down the fisherman's cheeks. Let's hope your fight won't be meaningless. Part of the fish cage, meanwhile, had remained firmly settled on this small plant. Over time, as it grew, the cage embraced the small plant like a majestic dress, strewn with leaves and seaweed, glistening in the sun. Even today, a legend says that the soul of the girl who fell in love with the mangroves awakens through the roots of a small mangrove plant whose branches begin to bud in her honor at low tide, at sunrise.